If you're a basketball fan like myself, then you know that today is one of the most important days in the NBA season. I'm talking about the trade deadline. There's a lot of rumors and trade scenarios being thrown around and that alone tickles the spine as they say. Let's go see what some of my coworkers think. Right now they're talking about the Sixers potentially trading New Orleans Knoll to Dallas. <laughs> kind of makes no sense. I mean, obviously like Julio Okafor should probably get traded first from Philly. Breaking news alert. Nerlens Noel just got traded from the Philadelphia 76ers to the Dallas Mavericks for Andrew Bogut and Justin Anderson and a first round pick. Jaleel needs to get out of Philly because he's the best center in Philly and he needs a place to thrive. So they're going to move two big men? Yeah. That's what you're saying Philly needs to do, move two big men? They're going to move Jaleel at this point. Uh, obviously there's Paul George rumors for the Lakers. Um, the Celtics are trying to get involved. You figure they're going to give up Jay Crowder. Okay. Avery Bradley. Yeah, and a first round pick. Damn. That's worth it for Paul George. The Celtics, you know, it's amazing. They pile up all these assets. They kind of want to somehow keep them all, yet somehow trade for a star at the same time. Don't know how that works. I think he's overrated. They were talking about him being better than Klay Thompson yesterday. Jimmy Butler obviously was being talked about. I honestly, as a Bulls fan, don't want them to trade Jimmy Butler and really don't think they'll trade Jimmy Butler. Uh, he can do everything better than Jimmy Butler. Like what? My man Sean doesn't agree, but it, he can just, I'd rather have Klay Thompson than Jimmy Butler. He's the second best two guard in the world. I and mean, in between, you know, the rumors of Paul George going someplace, uh, maybe even Jimmy Butler, like, I just feel like there's a lot of uh, deflections that teams are putting out. This has a sense of kind of getting, and I'm very skeptical that anything big is actually going to happen. There's a rumor of Todd Gibson potentially going to Oklahoma City. Um, again, not sure what OKC would give up to get him. I, Taj would be a great guy there. My sources are telling me uh, they're going to trade Carmelo Anthony for LeBron James. <laughs> straight up. Oh yeah? Be ready for that. Well, be ready for that. What do you think will be the, the biggest headline after today? Uh, Paul George being traded. I don't know. I think it's I think it's a lot of noise and I think not much will happen. I'm not sure if Paul George gets moved today. I think if Paul George gets moved, that'll probably be the biggest move of the day. I don't think Butler goes anywhere. 2017, Knicks, Knicks Listen, taking if, it. If the Knicks, Knicks taking it this year. If the Knicks really want to make a splash today, they should trade Phil Jackson. Ooh. Who's going to take him though? Nobody's taking him. No, no one. I mean, the job that Phil's done in New York, no one would take him. Yo, the Kings are going to take him? Oh, so take him right just straight up trade Vladi Diva? Well, listen, to answer your question, question, are the Pelicans going to make the playoffs? Yeah. I'm going to say no. Hey, Chops, if the Pelicans are making the playoffs, then which team is not? I think Denver falls out and the Pelicans make it. The Pelicans right now are 11 games under 500, same as the Knicks. So they have a lot of ground to make up right now. Yeah, that's all that, that counts, how, how many games back they are from 8th seed. No worry. You got Warriors in six. I got Cavs in six. Wait, <laughs> not after this, uh, this Carmelo, LeBron trade go down. Oh, look. I mean, <laughs> if if the Knicks trade Melo for LeBron, it's gonna be Knicks, Knicks, Knicks in five. <laughs> Before you answer, whatever your answer is gonna be, make sure to add the word time after it. Okay. So what's after breakfast and before dinner? Lunchtime. <laughs> what is that? Um, uh, some fucking granola bar. We need to, we need to really like shore up the vending machine here at Complex. And I'd like to nominate a little uh, food site called First We Feast. You heard of it? Uh, yeah. So what, what would you take out of that vending machine and put in, replace? I guess. Well, first off, vending machine 101. If you're gonna put peanuts in there, honey roasted. Ooh, what's in it? Plain peanuts? Yeah, unsalted plain peanuts. Jesus. It's like, we on, we on Delta? Like, I'm not... We're fucking up. Not trying to do that. We gotta get some Reese's in there. Pieces, too. Yes. Ooh. Not the cups, but you know. No, definitely the cups. <laughs> Can we throw some, like, jerky in there? You know? What the hell? You don't want jerky? If nobody buys the jerky, then... Then it's just gonna go bad. Nah, jerky's like, you know, that's the shit you put in your basement for 
when the apocalypse comes that just lasts. Jerky's gonna be like five dollars, and that's not a snack, man. That's like a freaking meal. Well, then again, jerky is a meal. High in protein. Mm. See where I'm going? Oh, okay. Oh, and last but not least, Pocky. Pocky sticks. Ooh. Ooh. That's like a, that's a flex move. That's if a Chinese your staple. Machine has Pocky sticks? Okay. All right. Preach. You got a package, Tony. I don't know what it is, but it's big. Oh. It looks fun. Oh. We should open it. Okay. Thank you. So this package is from Reebok. I don't know anybody at Reebok. All right. Well, you know no one at Reebok, but somehow no. you get a package from Reebok. Exactly. How does that happen? Yo no sé. Ready? Ready. Hold court. Oh shit! We got some Kendricks. Do you really? Wait a second. Featuring Kendrick Lamar. Oh, it's from Finish Line. Oh, so it's not from Reebok, it's from Finish Line. But All it's right. from Reebok headquarters. Okay. Hmm. Those look pretty clean. Shout out to Reebok. Shout out to Finish Line. Yeah, man. All right, a little backstory for the viewers. Beyonce pulled out of Coachella and Maggie had tickets. So now she is depressed. I need to go grieve in silence. Savage. Who can they replace Beyonce with to make you happy? I just said it. Kanye? Kanye, Drake, or Rihanna are like my top three. That's a really good, that's a strong one. Or like I said, if Jay Z like to replace is kind of like the husband just like taking over, that would be kind of cool. Jay Z in blue? Okay. Ooh, you need to replace her with Jesus <laughs> doing lemonade. True. Uh, anything hey. else and it's not going to happen. Beyonce and then just take her away like that. You need our Lord to save her. Alright, Mrs. Graham. <laughs> the sun's going down. I need you to do me a favor and close out the vlog. Okay, so you need my life advice, right? Correct. Alright, life advice turn your phone off when you go to sleep one day a weekend don't check any work email and after 8 p.m don't answer any work email that's in the wrong order but regardless take me time Ooh, i like that congratulations on getting married <laughs> thank you and thank you guys for watching i'll see you tomorrow deuces